Israel is the 13th most happy country in the world. Welcome to Tel Aviv. Wait, but aren't we in constant danger? Well, that's the thing. You probably wouldn't expect little old war-torn Israel to make it into the top 15 happy countries. I mean, things don't look so good on the news. But here on the ground, the statistics paint a totally different picture. So what makes us so happy? No, guys, it's not the alcohol. Cheers. According to the United Nations World Happiness Report, there are six main factors that make us smile. Healthy life expectancy. Freedom to make life choices. Trust in the government. Generosity. Income. Social support. Wait, why is no food included? Well, actually there is. I'm about to break down why Israelis are apparently so positive about their lives. People over here live for a very long time, trust me. It's hard to get rid of us. Israelis have the fifth longest life expectancy in the world, with men dropping the ball at 81 and women partying until they're 85. And a lot of it has to do with health. Israel is the 10th most healthy country in the world. And we have the lowest rate of diet-related deaths across the planet. If you are in trouble, do you have relatives or friends that you could count on to help you out? Well, according to the UN Happiness Report, in Israel, the average answer is a big old yes. The Israeli family institution remains very resilient, and apparently, there's an overall feeling of solidarity with society in general. Maybe that's why so many people donate to local charities and offer generous help. Plus, national identity is very strong in Israel, which could be attributed to the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the fact that everyone is obligated to go to the army. Also, we have hummus and falafel. To all the Israelis out there, this one confused me too. Yes, housing prices are high and salaries are questionable, but Israel does have a stable economy, and a big chunk of the public is benefiting from it. Israelis have a strong public health care system, reasonable university tuitions, and no matter how much they're making, they know how to spend it. Just look at the bars here. Are you satisfied with your freedom to choose what you want to do with your life? Well, the stats reveal that in Israel proper, the Israeli public generally doesn't feel like their rights are being encroached. This is a tricky one because with an obligatory military service and a very fine line between religion and state, there are a lot of mixed feelings. But hey, this is the Middle East. Let's be honest, measuring happiness isn't exactly simple. After all, if we had the recipe for it, the world would probably be a much prettier place. The UN Happiness Report doesn't have all of the answers. But no matter how many complaints you may hear from Israelis, the stats actually show that locals are more positive about their lives than they realize. It turns out the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Plus, we have beaches. Tel Aviv, look the beach. Look how much everybody enjoy and enjoy. Look the famous, look. Mm. Rich and famous. Madonna.